Welcome, everyone. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for November 20th, 2018. We're going to see if there was opportunities for us to make 10, maybe a little bit more percentage on our money trading stock options. I'm your co-host, Scott Patton, and joining us is Coach Rob. Well, Coach Rob, what did you think of today? Uh, the 20th was a pretty good day. Uh, we had some some strong moves in both directions, but uh, a little bit more green, I'd say, uh, on the day as far as the big tradable trends uh, where we could profit. And what we're looking at here is the basket, as usual. We fast-forwarded to the end of the day, and we're on five-minute candles. And uh, you can see it had really strong green charge to start the day, a nice red cycle back down, and then a really strong green charge up and then kind of a little bit uh, sideways throughout the day. So I picked out a couple of trades uh, that were very profitable. Uh, this would be the SPY index to start, but we're going to go over to Amazon. And Amazon had some strong green movement in that first portion of the day. And I want to take all the way back to that first 15 minutes, which is a big, big time uh, time window. And just looking at this, it's it's a it's a pretty sight, uh, don't you think, Scott? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so what I'm specifically looking at, and I address this in in most most of our uh, reviews, is this risk zone is centered on the opening price, and it's uh, just a high risk area, this orange tinted uh, area. But as a stock makes strong moves one way or the other, that risk zone tends to narrow. And I only trade and I only I coach my students to only trade outside the risk zone where there's a little bit less risk of a turnaround and, and losing money. So for Amazon on this day, I would have been sitting around and it cleared the risk zone, but it had this SB support line, uh, which can be resistance to a trend. So I would have been in right around here, right around that 935 mark uh, as it cleared that with some volume so this this little wick means that it got up to that point so i'm pretty uh, i've seen this in replay and it fits my strategy my rules so i'm confident it's going to go so let's go for 935 entry just as it's breaking that uh resistance line i'm going to bring in this window we use to buy puts and calls for options in this case, we have a we have a green trend, so we're going to buy a call. Calculates the uh, commission for you, so you're already at a minus one percent, but that's helpful, makes it realistic. And we'll advance one one minute at a time. We're already at eight percent. That's a good sign. Uh, Ten percent in two minutes. That's pretty good. And here it's got another resistance line. Uh, it's called the benchmark in this case. Uh, that is nearing it's got a 20-day break below that can cause some crazy behavior in stocks when it hits those, those big price points um, highs and lows plus uh, one of our proprietary markers is the blue star uh, here uh, with the day trader genius software and that's one of my exit signals as well so i'm definitely getting out right here uh, everything's telling you to get out yeah and so you better listen to the signals right you don't drive around ignoring stop signs and red lights and right so this is exactly what i do and the result was three minutes 17.2 percent and uh a lot you, better than if you put your money in the bank far better especially the three minute part and uh i mean you could you could be done for the day a lot I, i'm a one trade a day guy and i i be happy and I'd shut it down and I'd go walk the dogs or something. Yeah. And so in this particular case, one of the emotions that you have to be really aware of is the one of greed, right? Because you're seeing this strong move up, the, the market is moving up, everything is green. And it's kind of like there's a couple, you know, it's like you're on the super highway, but there's a you know stoplight up ahead and it's turned red. And, you know, there's nobody around. Do you go through it and keep going because you're just cruising and having a good time? Or do you say, well, you know, there's a reason there's a stoplight there. 
maybe this time I wouldn't get hit if I ran it, but you know, sooner or later I'm going to, and let's just make sure we never get hit, right? That's affirmative. And uh, you bring up an important point about our coaching program. You know, if you're interested, you can contact myself or Coach Jay. We we don't just coach reading candles like this, right? And as you well know, Scott, it's not just red and green candles and indicators on the chart. It's a, it's a lot about mindset. So fighting that greed uh, to hold on for longer is is tied to lower order portions of our brain, mammalian brain stuff, where we have a tendency to think that if something's going in one direction, it'll just keep going on forever, right? So yes. I've already got 17%. Why wouldn't I double that and get 34%? Yeah. Why not? Well, and, and of course, the brain says this is reasonable, right? Right. Uh, in reality, it's irrational, and it, it leads to you draining your bank account and paying tuition, uh, as we say. Yeah, there's nothing worse than being at 17.2% at one point of your trade, and then when you get out, it's minus four. Yeah, and you really have your only have yourself to blame for that. Uh, so don't do it. And don't, don't do it. There you go. If you want some help on not doing it, just you know sign up for coaching, and uh, we'll guide you to your self discovery. Yeah, really well. having a mentor and a coach when you're learning this this uh, system of creating income is so important because there are so many pitfalls. I mean, there's a reason why so many people lose all of their their savings, all of their their home and everything else in the stock market or in the forex market, or you mm-hmm. know, recently Bitcoin. You went from nineteen thousand down to three thousand. You know, and people bought at nineteen thousand. So you re- and they were all people that didn't know what they were doing. And so you really, it's really important that you have a support team in place, and your coach is your number one support that help you work through everything even if you're an experienced trader it's really important because this is such a lonely thing right it's you and your computer in the market and on the other side of the screen is some guy who wants your money and we forget about that sometimes yeah there's there's somebody else on the other side and uh yeah i mean if if you've got the experience you just like our tool you like the day trader genius program and the charts awesome glad to have you in in the in the club if you're new or you're kind of a novice and you need that coaching it's going to pay off all right okay so let's take a look at the next trade that we want to show absolutely uh we had one come up not too long after this and it was it was a pretty darn good one uh as we said earlier uh when we looked at the basket it was a very strong green day and facebook had a really really nice move that i want to show you guys This is still Amazon, so let me pick Facebook from the list. And there we go. And you can see right there, Scott, this is one minute candle still. So um, it's about 10.45, so I'm gonna go to three minute candles. And you can see that was a really nice string of indicators coming on, uh, denoting a really good trend. And we'll just play around and see what's better. I have five minutes, it looks even better. These are five minute candles, guys. Um, We're looking at 10.50, so the setup I see is right around mm, this 1023 or 1020 to 1025 mark, right? It's because of five minute candles. As it's, we, we've talked uh, a couple times about lows and highs and the behavior of stocks around those, those markers. This was a break below 52 week low, which is That's pretty huge. huge. Yeah. And well, Facebook had volume and it had a, a green day. It had a big G. And this this is one of those times where you're like, if it's going to go somewhere around that low, it's likely to go up. And you can look at some other uh, time scales to determine that. <clears throat> yeah, if you're at an all-time high, you're more likely to go down. If you're at an all-time low, you're more likely to go up. And, and, and Generally. I mean, you, you, could put, you could generalize it that way. Um, it, look at the market. Look at all the indicators, big picture. But yeah, I, I, in this in this case, it fits that mold that you just described, uh, and that's that's where I would would have been looking at it, been like, okay, she's got steady volume, and you know, we talk about signal a lot. Scott, signal just came on with K band tint. Um, we're starting to get some longer trend lines. This is a K band uh, uh, trend slope line. 
And this is this is where I would have gotten in. So let's bring over our uh, options window and we'll buy a call in this case. See where she goes. And where well, yeah, she's got a little bit of flutter. Well, let's see what happens. We got strong volume still. And that brown line is an Einstein fractal, right? So we're flirting, but we're we're essentially uh, we've we've got profit in hand, and it's showing a lot of promises. Really, not a lot of signs of of it slowing down. So in this case, I would have I would have held strong, and you can see the market is supporting our move. Got a nice green sunny day with a lot of power in the market. So let's just see how far she goes. Nine, ten. I've got I've got filters coming on. That's what that little little blue guy is. So my alerts are telling me that this is a pretty good move. And I mean we're already clear in 19. And I've told you before if I hit if I see that 20, I'm usually out. But a lot of the supporting information, like we haven't broken this quick trend line, good volume, good green movement, higher highs, we talk about a lot, and the market is supporting it. So I don't, you don't have a reason to get out. Not yet. I mean, this guy right here, 60 cents to the next, um, to the next resistance line. That's one thing that I'm keeping in mind. That's the nearest exit indicator that I'm seeing. Uh, so no, we're not near that at this point, are we? No, we still got 50 cents to go. So it's getting there, oh, that's but great. it's going down and, and there, oh, that's, there. that's where it is. So you can see this is the pivot. And that's an important support and resistance line. We just basically touched it, and it is now 10.42. And you're at 32%. So do we need to be greedy? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, this is the first exit indicator. So right here, let's look at the log. So we've got, we were in for 19 minutes. So that's a little bit over your staple 10 minutes. Yeah, but we would have had 10% in 10 minutes. We just we didn't see a real reason to exit with right. only 10%. Uh, yeah. So let it ride. 31.6. 31.6. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very cool trade. I mean, and it is just like a perfect trade. Like just look at a strong green going up. You're you've you've broken the 52 week low. So there's really nothing stopping it going stopping you from going up. You hit the pivot. Mm -hmm. You made 32%. You know, that's a good day. Time to go to the beach. Yeah, and and sometimes the setup is great, and it's just obvious. It's if you've practiced enough, and you can recognize these patterns, and you're have a good scan, you're in a good mindset. You see these coming, and you're like, "Yep, he's gonna he's gonna throw me a fastball right down the middle." Uh, <laughs> Home run. Yeah, yeah, that's. I've been practicing my swing all week. <laughs> <laughs> yep, for sure. And there's another another good uh, call, right? This is a strong green day, and we'll just jump right over to that. It was about the same time frame because you noticed in that Facebook trade, there was a lot of market support. We, we touched on that a couple times. And let me just find, we got Square was doing, about the same time frame was doing the same thing. I would say right here, We've got this, move this out of the way. This was a, a sticking point, right? The Einstein fractal. The, the wick got up to it, bounced off, came up near it again, bounced off. And it looks like it's going to bounce off again. But right here, the market is, is pushing it north of that uh, fractal. It's closing above it. And we're getting near that nice uh, previous low which we've talked about a couple times today um, and it's, it's moving up the trend line. So no, no looking back in the future, but this is kind of the reverse engineering you do to build, build your filters and build your strategy. So I would have bought right there and let's just see what happens. We got 5% already in just two minutes and 9% there up to 11. That's pretty good. Close it out there. And you're getting close to the, the next resistance point, the previous right. low. And like we said, sometimes you steam through them like Facebook did. Sometimes you'll bounce off and lose profits. So Yeah. But our goal doing these is to show everybody that there are multiple opportunities to make 10% on your money 
and uh, you can say 10% in 10 minutes is like a catchphrase. Sometimes it's two minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes, sometimes it's 30% in 20 minutes, like like Coach Rob just showed. But the idea being is it's not 10% in like three years, which is what you'd need if you're getting 3% on a GIC at the bank. Right. And that's kind of our comparison, right? For sure. And, uh, you know, the volatility of options plays into that, right? The ability to profit in a short amount of time, <clears throat> but also the power of options. Like yesterday, we went over the 19th and we had three really powerful puts, which is we're making profits on the way down. Today, we had three really powerful calls, which is making profits on the way up. So if you can profit no matter what the market does, whatever a, a stock symbol does, I mean, that's great. It really is. So so we've got the, did we do the review of the each trade? Yep, that's that's our three for the 20th, yep. Amazon, 17.2% in three minutes. Facebook, 31.6% in uh, 19 minutes. Square, 11.4% in three minutes. So. That's a pretty good day, Coach Rob. Yeah, yeah, I'd be very satisfied. <laughs> awesome. Well, so do you have a stock option tip for our viewers? Yeah, absolutely. It, resistance lines that everybody else in who's trading sees them. You've talked about that guy who's on the other side of the computer trying to take your money. He knows where those are too. Right. So just pay attention to those. Those are those are powerful indicators and powerful uh, price stoppers or movers. Excellent. Thank you, Coach Rob. Really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to share this with everybody and myself. And thanks for joining us. Everyone look forward to having you on our next episode where we're going to be taking a look at what happened after Thanksgiving 2018. See you on the next show. Bye bye.